It's a beautiful Sunday morning. So good morning and welcome to today's prediction analysis. Um, yesterday we gave out two tickets, two plus odds each, and we won two plus odds. That's how the season is. I have a very important announcement. I really talk about this. I'll say these things the way I'm about to say it. If you're in a very, very critical situation where you can't even choose between the matches that we provide and win, and you're on a long losing streak, I would really, really encourage you to join our monthly uh, service, our monthly premium service. Um, as I told you guys several weeks ago, 1% of tipsters will win in this period. And we are among that 1%. The other 99% will lose every day. Like, it's going to be so bad that tipsters will be winning once in two weeks. Tipsters who used to win regularly will be winning once in a month. I said it weeks ago, several weeks ago. I told you guys. This is going to be the only channel that will attempt to win every day. If not every day, at least once in two days. If worse comes to worse, that is win one ticket. But there are days that we will win two tickets. This is literally going to be the only channel that will achieve that. So, my encouragement to you guys, if you are unable to edit the games and achieve results, our VIP monthly service is achieving very good results. When you go on our Telegram channel, the free channel, you will see it there. You will see the results being talked about. And you also see my contact detail. I don't want to hear, oh, how can I join your Telegram? How can I join your VIPC? I don't know if people don't listen. It shocks me. I don't know if people can see. The instruction is there. Just join the Telegram channel. You scroll through the messages. you find my contact through those messages. My Telegram, uh, uh, my, my Telegram contact data. So if you are really struggling, I don't want to hear people saying, oh, I lost this, I lost so much. It's your fault. Because our VIP service, people are losing. And I'm not even kidding. I have substantial proof to show you. If you message me, you know. So, um, I usually don't say it because I honestly don't care. If you guys choose to join or not, it's, I don't care. I'm, I'm still, I'm fine. I have a regular job that, that pays me well. I'm simply doing this to help people who are on a losing streak. People who are trying to uh, recoup. Or stop losing on a daily basis. That's that's my only motivation. So if you join it, so it's really on you. So we have four matches here that give a total of 2.30 out, 3.58 out. And I'm going to take you guys through the game. The first one is from the Croatia HNL League. It's a game that involves Rijeka and Slaven Belupo. To understand the prediction, we need to look at Rijeka at home. This team is averaging 2.5 goals at home, as you can see. Slaven Belupo, as you can see here, is averaging 2.5 goals as well. Head to head tells you the entire story. Uh, all their matches, most of their matches in recent times, have produced two or more goals. We need to look at the standings to fully understand what this game would mean for Rijeka. So the league is wrapping up. Rijeka is trying to see if they could potentially, uh, at least, Try and stabilize their second position because if they're able to stabilize on their second uh, position, uh, what that means is that this, the third place team won't fight them off. So as you can see, only three points differentiate the second place team from the third place team. So it's a game they have to win and score a lot of goals in the process. So what am I going for? My prediction is simple. I'm going with the option of over two goals. There will be goals in this fixture. Over two goals. And the odd for over two goals is 1.19. The next fixture we have is from the Italy Serie A. It's a game that involves Atalanta and Torino. When you look at Atalanta, Atalanta, I mean, congrats to them for winning the league. This is a dead rubber game. This, this fixture doesn't mean anything. For the two sides. I mean, when you look at this game, um, Atlanta is position five, already qualified for Champions League. They don't have any issues, all right? And you look at Torino. 
Torino doesn't need this game essentially because there is no way Torino can get into the top eight and qualify for the Europa League. And the season is uh, wrapping up, right? This is, I think this should be their last game of the season. Atalanta is in celebratory mood. They are in full celebra- celebratory mood at the moment. Torino has been resting. And what that means is that this is a game Torino will score some goals. Atalanta should also be able to score one or so goals. So this fixture will produce goals. But it's Torino that should win in 90 minutes. I'll get a positive result. So I'm going with the option of over to those goals uh, for this fixture. And when you look at Torino's last five matches away, um, every single game has produced 2.5 goals, as you can see. Atalanta at home, last five matches, four out of their last five games have produced two or more goals. Head to head, every one of their meetings has produced 2.5 goals, four out of the last five times they have met. So the prediction is simple. For this Atalanta Torino, we are going with over two goals. And the odd for over two goals is 1.39. The next fixture is from the Thailand Thai League 1 it Changra United and Moa Tong. So when you look at these uh, Changra United, they've been in very shocking form. They haven't won a single game in their last five matches. Moa Tong United has won four and lost just once in their last five meetings. And when you investigate that game they lost, you see that they lost to a team that is currently number one. So you can understand. The away team lost to a team that is currently number one, and understandably so. On the other hand, they are playing this team that is position 10. They are already stabilized. The season is young. Uh, They are not in a threatening position, as you can imagine. So what are my predictions? Given that the away team wants to get or wants to keep pushing and see if they can get into the top two, right? whoever finishes top two gets to play in the ACF Champions League two, right? Or the ACF Champions League. And they are just a couple of points away from the top two position. So they want to win this game, right? For them, they have to win this game to guarantee progression on the table. And coupled with the fact that the home team doesn't even have good form, as you can see, their form is very shambolic. Uh, you can expect that the away team will win or draw in 90 minutes. And the odd for the away team to win or draw in 90 minutes is 1.29. And finally, um, from the Italy Serie A, we have Napoli versus Lise. Napoli versus Lise. So as you can see here, um, again, a dead rubber game because really Napoli has nothing they are fighting for. I mean, when you check the standings, I think it's pretty clear. They don't have anything they are fighting for. Napoli is position 10. Even if they win today, it has nothing. It's not going to have an impact on their position on the table. Zero impact on their position on the table. It's not going to help them qualify for the Europa League or anything. Leeds also has nothing that they're playing for or fighting for, you see. So it's a game that Napoli will just want to win at home to make their fans happy since this is the last game of the season. Leeds too will also want to put a positive show for their away fans. So it's a game that Ossie men should grab two goals. It's a game Leeds should also grab one goal. And it's interesting that Leeds, uh, Napoli's last five matches at home have produced two or more goals when they have played at home. And the head-to-head shows that this fixture, four out of their last five times, has produced 2.5 goals whenever they've played. So the prediction is simple. It's a game that will produce over two goals, and the odd for that is 1.21. And then you have a look at your at the booking code, the sporty bet, and the one is by booking code. And I just want to wish you guys the very best. Make sure you join our Telegram channel. Stop telling me I'm losing. It's your fault. It's really your fault, guys. When our VIP service is delivering every month. So if you are losing, it's your fault. Join that Telegram channel. You'll find my contact detail. Chat me up for more information.